Good evening, Stats fans, and welcome to ESSPN Stat Center, presented by the Michelson 20MM Foundation. I'm Robert Adut from yaymath.org, and tonight, from this very desk, I invite you to join us as we embark on a journey to tackle the wild world of sports with the mathematical linebacker that is statistics, the science of data. If it takes an interview, we'll do it. If it takes play-by-play, -play, we'll do it. If it takes commentary, we'll do that too. Like the outfield, we got you covered. At this point, I would be remiss if I fail to introduce the rest of our Stat Center team. We turn now to our infield reporter and my protege, Jordan Cohen, who is standing by in some field or another, and who will provide us with an up close and at times raw glimpse of the battlefield where stats and sports duke it out. Jordan. Hello, Robert. Let me just say that I'm really excited to be embarking on this incredible journey with ESSPN and you. I'm honored to be... It appears we are having some technical difficulties. To be expected on this, our pioneering episode. It's no secret the world of statistics can be an intimidating one. At the same time, if we turn on any sports broadcast, we are bombarded by data analysis. Analysis that can shed light on some of sports' deepest and most profound questions. Questions like, who is the best hitter in baseball? The best basketball player last season? The best midfielder in soccer? Or dare I say it, the all-time best quarterback? in the NFL. I'd have to say it was when I first played t-ball at the age of six or seven, where I realized the importance of the application of math to sports. Being the... Still some technical difficulties, it seems. The task of answering these questions can seem daunting, but sports fans from across the globe have been using statistics to answer them since the beginning of game itself. Instead of blankly staring at raw data, we can use summaries of the data to give us an idea of a player's skill level. <sighs> Instead of looking at every at-bat in baseball, we can use batting averages or on-base percentages to evaluate how good a hitter really is. Instead of staring at a full season's record of free throw attempts, we calculate free throw percentages to evaluate players' abilities at the line. Really? Really? The key in each of these cases is that we're using numbers as snapshot summaries of the data. These analyses are called statistics, and better yet, they serve our ability to predict future outcomes. Oh! Oftentimes, we use statistics without even knowing it, from simple summary statistics like batting averages to more complicated concepts and probability. Statistics is a centerpiece of sports, a game itself of turning lots of data, which at first can appear random, into trends that help us make undeniable conclusions. Jordan Cohen reporting live for Stat Center. Back to you, Robert. Thank you, Jordan. That was deep and insightful. In the coming episodes, we'll explore the statistics behind sports analysis, discovering behind sports analysis, discovering how a better understanding of these methods can lead to a deeper appreciation for the sports we love so much. Until next time, this is Stat Center. I'm Robert Adute. R really, guys? Really? This is what? This is a production? I'm a professional! <laughs>